Meteorologist Thomas Geboy. It's been a warm spring day in the Wiregrass, but we've seen plenty of clouds around. So usually when we've see, seen this many clouds, usually temperatures struggle to get above the mid 70s. But today getting close to the 80 degree mark. Once again, you can see those clouds moving from west to east and with some of those clouds bringing some showers with it. You can see we had just a few showers to the south, but overall as soon as they were getting going, they sort of fizzled out. So majority of the rain, large swath heading through Troy right now. So most of the rain tonight is going to be confined to the northern portions of the Wiregrass. Still can't 100% rule out chances in the southern portions of the Wiregrass, but overall just keep the umbrella with you just in case. And part of the reason for all this is southerly flow bringing in some extra moisture. You can see winds anywhere from five, five to 10 miles per hour out of the south. So as we go through tonight, that's what we're going to continue to see. So that might even cause some fog chances as we go into tomorrow. But here's a look at your nightly planner for tonight. By 8 p.m., temperature is going to be pretty nice, 72 degrees. By 10 p.m., 70 degrees. So it's going to be another comfortable night if you have evening plans to possibly go out and watch the game tonight. And by midnight, we're going to start to see that fog develop with that southerly flow as we go throughout the night. But as we go through the morning, you can see with all those warm temperatures and moisture around, we're going to have some fog. So make sure if you're making your way out early to work tomorrow, give yourself just a little extra time. So let's go ahead and plan out the rest of your day. You can see the fog still there by around 8 o'clock tomorrow, but quickly mixes out. So thinking around 8, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, that's when we're finally going to get that fog out of there. As we go through tomorrow afternoon, should be a good mixture of sun and clouds, a little bit more cloud coverage down towards the coast. But you can see that we can't rule out the chance for just an isolated shower as we go throughout your afternoon tomorrow, but as we go into Wednesday night, should be another clear night and also another warm one. Might have some fog begin to move in once again Wednesday morning, but as we go into Wednesday night, we're going to see more of what we saw on Tuesday, mostly clear skies with even a lower chance of seeing any rain chances. Here's a look at your high temperatures for tomorrow. It's going to be a very warm one, seeing temperatures of anywhere from 85 to potentially even 90 degrees. That Andalusia sensor is always just a little bit warmer, but overall for it to pop up, that just shows how warm it's going to be. Future conditions for your Florida zone is just going to be a little cooler, especially on the coast. So Destin probably going to stay just a little bit below the 80 degree mark, but overall so you're going to see temperatures very, very warm. As we go into your Alabama zones, you can see 86, 87 is a very popular number. A little bit less cloud coverage, rain, about 20% chance of rain, so we can't rule it out there either. And your Georgia and your East Alabama zones temperatures still going to be pretty warm. Donaldsonville coming in, project, projected high of 89 degrees with a 20% chance of seeing some rain showers. Here's a look at your golf cast for tomorrow. Chance of afternoon pop-ups are possible. Probably going to see just a little bit more shower coverage on the coast. Once we get that sea breeze, though, we should see mostly sunny conditions. South winds at 5 to 10 knots, so it should be a relatively nice day. But here's a check on your five-day forecast. It's going to get warm, so as we go throughout the rest of the week, we're going to see a ridge build in. So by Wednesday, temperature is going to be a little conservative, going 87 degrees. Might even get a little warmer than that. And then we'll finally see temperatures cool off just a little bit as we go into the weekend with rain chances. Sorry uh, to say, but uh, at least yesterday turned out to be quite a nice day. I hope those models uh, kind of change a little bit. I'm, I, I, Here, here's the hope. I don't need rain on, on, on Saturday. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'll do my best. I'll try to work All the right. weather wand and see what we can't do. But here's a look at your weather-wise trivia question. Zero degrees on the Kelvin scale. That's about four, negative 460 on the Fahrenheit meter. Is the lowest temperature theoretically possible where particle motion stops? What is the common name to this temperature? Absolute cold, absolute zero, solidification, or exothermicity? I like that. Yeah, I like that too. That's a pretty challenging yes, question. Yes, SAT question. Haven't been, a, haven't been able <laughs> to do it for a while, it. so why yeah. not throw all of yeah. it at They tell the kids to play, pay attention to this one. It might be on their SAT. They, they're on right? Google right oh, yeah. now. Might be a science <laughs> question on that ACC, so. You just never know. <laughs> Tony, joining us now with Sports, and I, I suppose it, it, it depends on who you 